How to boost your savings in 2022. Set a monthly budget. When you stick to a budget, it's easier to track what you're spending on various expenses. It's also easier to see if you're going overboard in a particular category. If you set up a budget for 2022, you may find that you have an easier time meeting savings goals. Once you have a set budget in place, you will have an overview for the whole month and this will stop you from overspending. Prioritize necessities like food, water and bills and then allocate a certain amount a month towards your wants. Cut down your biggest expenses. Instead of trying to cut back on your small expenses, focus on the larger ones to make a significant impact to your budget. For most people, housing costs tend to be the biggest part of their expenses. If you're renting, consider downsizing to a smaller home or living with roommates. It is also important to be aware of how much you end up spending every month, s. This will allow you to cut down on unnecessary expenses, while also allowing you to put a savings target in place for the year ahead. Automate your savings. If you have a fixed income, consider automating your savings contributions each month. This means setting up an automated transfer from your daily spending account to your savings account each month. By automating your savings, you further reduce your chance of using these funds to cover your daily expenses. Most people save what is left towards the end of the month, however, to optimize your savings, you need to pay yourself first. Shop with a grocery list. Reduce your weekly spending at the supermarket by meal planning for the week to cut unnecessary costs and to efficiently plan what you need to purchase each week. Food shopping is one of the biggest weekly expenses for families. From setting a budget each week to planning the meals and food you will need, there's a range of things you can do to cut your spending. Sticking to a grocery list will help you to avoid impulse shopping and spending more than planned. Another tip is to avoid overpriced items in the checkout lane, that can be where stores really kill your grocery budgeting plans. Pay off credit card debt. Having a credit card balance means spending money on interest. Paying that balance off means not just shedding debt but also not having interest accumulate against you. If you're not throwing money away on interest, you can use it to increase your savings instead. Set a limit on how much you can spend on your credit or debit cards. This stops you from overspending and encourages you to reassess your daily expenditures in advance. Set up an emergency fund. Everybody needs to have an emergency fund for rainy days. Duh. This is especially important because when these expenses come up, there's a much bigger risk that other expenses will go unpaid. A portion from every paycheck should be set aside into a separate savings account. About 51% of Americans have less than three months worth of emergency savings. According to a July survey from personal finance website Bankrate, 25% of survey respondents cited having no emergency savings at all in 2021. Up from 21% who said they didn't have any in 2020, the survey found. Start a side hustle. Instead of putting all your efforts towards expanding your savings, try boosting your income with a side hustle. Duh. There's a number of things you can choose from depending on your skills, schedule and savings goals. Think about the amount of money you want to earn and the number of free hours. You have each week and let that help you narrow down your choices. Refinance your mortgage. The less money you spend on your mortgage, the more you are able to save. Refinancing could be your ticket to a lower mortgage payment every month. An overwhelming majority of US homeowners said they wouldn't refinance their mortgage to save $100 a month despite it being enough to provide tens of thousands of dollars in savings over time. When asked how much they would need to save each month for a mortgage refinancing to be worthwhile, 29% of homeowners said $250, while 29% said it would take $500, the survey said. Stock market investing. It is crucial to learn about investing your money to maximize returns. It is essential to understand the various schemes available for investment such as mutual funds, provident funds and equities, among others, and invest in one of them to gain benefits. Investors can see their investment grow with the effect of compounding.